What is up everybody, Jcraft here, bringing you another tutorial, and this is on Spin Blur in Sony Vegas, or Radio Blur, whatever you want to call it, and let me show you how to do this real quick, let me show you how it looks like real quick, and I can't show you guys a video preview in the beginning of the video because um, it requires too much time, plus I have to video convert everything, so this is just really simple, let's just see how it looks like, and that looks pretty good, so... I'm just going to start off fresh, just going to delete everything that I did. It takes a ridiculously short amount of time, so let's get started. You want to find where the shot starts, which starts right here. You can use your key keyboard to find out which keyframe it is. And now what you want to do is press S to split the clip apart. And you want to right click on the timeline and click insert video track. And what you want to do is right click on the clip and click copy and paste it onto the top track right above where the original clip is and you'll see this. And you want to shorten it to or every for, for how long you want the blur to be. So let's just see where I want it. Let's just say I want it up to here. And you want to make it fade all the way to the beginning. Okay. Now what you want to do is add a uh, new blue ME spin blur. You could find a tutorial on it. Unfortunately, I don't have the download to it. I downloaded this a long time ago. So just add this. And you can see that the blur is a little bit too much. So I'm just going to mess around with the settings. Okay, so let's just see how that looks like. I'm going to highlight over it and click Shift and B. And uh, there you go. That's how you do spin blur or radio blur in Sony Vegas. And it's really easy. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll post up some more tutorials soon but i'm not gonna go on a roll like i did last time where i uploaded like six tutorials in a day but uh that's it thanks for watching